Hey everybody, it's Uncle Wizard here, and today I have the Gateway E3200 After Forever. And it is really cold up here. It's about 626, I think, give or take. I guess I'm just going to say about 630 because I'm not really sure right now because... Yeah, it's about 630, but um... Here I have the Gateway E3200, not touched in forever. Let's start it up. Okay, the hard drive spins up. That's a good sign. Hang on. Let's see if the video's plugged in good. I think it is. Ugh. Ah, there we go. Bet you this time day's gonna be wrong, so just go ahead and pull this up. You know it doesn't have 38 megabytes of RAM. All right. Let me Set the top day. I think it's the eleventh. I think it's 6.30. Alright, let's go ahead and reboot. I don't even remember how much room it has. It's not 38 megabytes, so maybe 64 or something. So it's the original C ROM drive and floppy. And that six gig quantum hard drive. Ah oh, yeah. That's what I wanted to hear. What a champ. And I really want to get rid of this stupid Dell monitor that's black and stuff. I want to find another gateway monitor. Because I have more gateway computers than Dell, though I may have more Dells. I'm just not sure, though. It's... Okay, no mouse, no problem. I got a keyboard. Hmm. I was going to go find a speaker, but I couldn't find one, so you guys can't hear the startup sound. Oh yeah, it loaded up perfectly. What a champ. Um, let's go ahead and... What was that? Um, go to control panel and check the system, because I don't even remember what the specs are other than the 6-gig hard drive, 2-ROM, and floppy. <laughs> Probably just missing the RAM. Ugh. CPU's 350 megahertz is kind of coming back to me now. Um, 192 megabytes of RAM. Cool. So, yeah, guys. I guess that's about it. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Bye.